Okay, well, this situation, I believe, caused J-Lo and Diddy to break up. Along with some other stuff. Along with some other stuff. And she actually kind of left him for a backup dancer. You know, how how did Puff take that or, you know, what was going on during that time? Man, it was so much crazy things going on. And uh, Puff was using her personal assistant to try to find out wherever Jennifer was at. He was sending like a hundred dozen roses. He was trying to get Luther Vandross to sing for her, you know, sing to her. He was doing everything to try to get her back. You know what I'm saying? But she wasn't going for her. I think Jennifer, you know, Jennifer mother didn't like Puff. So when your mother don't like somebody, you know, and Jennifer was real close with her mother and her parents. Her father used to go to baseball games with us and everything like that. But, uh, I think it had a lot to do, you know, her mother not liking her. Her mother, you know, felt her life was in danger for being around somebody like Puff. And she wasn't going to uh, risk her relationship with her family by dealing with this kid anymore. Mm. Uh, you know, he spent kind of, he spent kind of years trying to get her back. Uh, he made songs about her and everything. Yeah, he, like... He always had Kim there for him on the side, but like Jennifer, when she dipped on him, it kind of messed him up. Like, yeah, like, I mean, like, he would get out the car and we'll be on 17th Street and we'll walk all the way up to 74th Street to his house. <laughs> I was like, yo. It was crazy, man, the way she, you know, had him and he wanted to get her back, but she wasn't messing with him. You know, Shine came out and everybody kind of compared him to Biggie. They said he sounded like Biggie. He had a lot of Biggie swag. You know, did you guys ever get any hate about that or... You know, were there people around that might not have liked what was going on? Sean got a lot of hate from Junior Mafia behind that. D Rock them. They was really trying to hurt him. They was having shootouts. They was getting into brawls, everything. If it wasn't for Wolf bringing Sean close to him, it would have been mad issues, you know, with Junior Mafia and Sean. Puff couldn't handle it. So uh, Sean made Wolf like, uh, like a manager uh, over his project or whatever like that. So d Rock and start giving Sean a pass. But because of that Biggie stuff, or he sounded like Big, or they thought he was trying to take Big, uh, like be like Big, they was going at him. Mm. Sean wasn't safe around bad boy. Okay, well, I think the biggest news with Puff going on is that little Rod actually filed a lawsuit against him, accusing him of all types of stuff from touching him to spiking drinks and sex workers and Diddy trying to groom him and, you know, allegedly sharing a video of, Stevie J having sex with a man to try to persuade him to to do things and you know that this is okay and this is just how it's done in the music business. You know, what is your uh you know first initial thoughts when you seen and heard about this latest lawsuit? You know, it's crazy that everybody in the world can have an opinion about what Puff do or what Puff did, but me. Everybody gets like upset when I talk about him, when I knew him for years. You understand what I'm saying? He was part of the same gang, our crew. He went on and did Bad Boy. He went on. Uh, I didn't bodyguard him. I've done security for him. You know what I'm saying? Been in his house, been, you know, been around him. We ate off the same plates, you know, here and there. 
So everybody get upset when I talk about them, maybe because I did security for them. But not only that, it's the fact that we was cool at, outside the security. So I can have my opinion on what I think. The puff that y'all see now wasn't the puff that was back in 95, 96, 2003, 2004. You know, he's, a, he's, he, he, he's the puff that's, that's allegedly, I guess, or like these people are saying, that's on drugs, that's using cocaine, that's using uh, uh, other drugs, that's using pills and stuff like that. When I was around Puff, he was taking those pain pills for his wrists. He got hooked on those. He would drink champagne. He wouldn't smoke no weed. He wouldn't smoke no cigarettes. I seen him on uh, one of the Instagram posts or whatever like that. He was walking, smoking a cigarette. I don't know that Puff. So, you know, him having these charges and these people are saying these things about him, that's their personal experience. That's what they see. Now, I've seen some of the things that match some of the stuff that he's saying now. You know, maybe having a bunch of girls, you know, using women to get at guys and everything like that. Okay. But this this addiction and using these drugs and like I I don't I, I don't know that puff like that. Okay, now what about all the the extra stuff that he was talking about that he's a, a, accusing Diddy of? You know, like the spike drinks and yeah, that's workers. what I'm saying. Like like you know, he never did that around me that I knew about that one. You understand what I'm saying? He never did that. Uh, that. That men and having a lot of women or, 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 or having sex, things like that with men and women together. Yeah, I've seen Puff play that rock star role where, you know, him and another girl and a guy and other guys, they be all in the room naked doing their thing or whatever like that. I, I know him from that. You understand? Uh, but all that three men waking up in the bed with three men. And all y'all naked, I don't know that puff like that. Right, that's what little Rob accused him of, right? Or that he woke up one night. Yeah, he woke up and he was in morning. the bed naked with him. And and two other men. Yeah. That's brother love. <laughs> 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 that ain't puff, that's brother love. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.